Hi, thank you for joining me with So Sensible today. Today we're going to make bell bottoms out of a regular straight leg jean. I used, uh, I apple cycled some uh, ties. I used silk ties because I just love the look and the color uh, that, you, that it offers. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some ripped up jeans and you're gonna salvage fabric. So you need that and then you're going to want to prepare your silk ties and what I did was I just seam ripped out and ironed all of the pieces to get them ready. So to make the pattern I just found some cards, some uh, cardboard that I had uh, left over so you're going to want to seam rip up here. It'll look like this. And then you're going to have some of this seam ripped as well. And then you're going to take the cardstock. And the way I did it is I kind of folded down the sides to get it to the right size. And then I cut it. So I, I opened it like this. And then I folded down the sides and then I cut it off. That's how wide I wanted it to be. And what I did was I went from here and I added at least a quarter inch, if not more, uh, to the sides because I'm going to have that tucked in like this and this is where I'm going to stitch. Let's see it right here. Just stitched it right down. So you're gonna wanna kinda put on the jeans and mark off where you want it. So once you have your pattern, you're going to, so once you have your pattern, you're going to just draw a line around the whole thing and cut it out. You can draw this on either side. It won't matter because you won't see it. So you set down your silk. And then you're going to figure out what pattern. I wanted it one to kind of slope down. You can do straight across. You can do uh, crazy patchwork. And then you're going to put the pretty side up. And then... Get them sandwiched together like this. And you're going to stitch right along here. So I've got two down and I'm going to just trim the excess. And I'm going to finish this edge off while I'm here. And you're just going to keep moving on with the next color. And if you're worried about it not carrying over, just check it. Now you should have your triangle. And it'll look like this. This is probably the more challenging part. What you're going to want to do is get this in here. And I actually use this as my guide just so that I don't pin through the entire garment. And it kind of adds stability to it.
Okay, it will look something like this. You're going to do the hem is what it's called. And uh, in order to do that, you can either get coordinating thread that looks like this uh, to match the rest of your jeans. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the navy that I've been using. But if you wanted to have it look professional and like it was made to be that way, that would be how you do it. And there you have it, some bell bottoms made out of old ties and a pair of jeans. Uh, I love bell bottoms and they're really hard to come by. The new fad is straight leg jeans. So these are so much fun to make. And I remember having these in high school. Uh, they're just so much fun. All right, thanks for joining me on So Sensible.